What I really enjoyed and found valuable was that I got to work with uh, the same students for such a long period of time and I got to see how they were growing and do a lot of things that I'll be doing as a teacher. So I got to work as a team to plan and, inst and give instruction with children and do a lot of authentic activities with them. But I would also work with the classroom and participate in experiences, help the teachers plan shared readings and other activities, center activities. And then when I started, when I became a student worker over the summer, I was able to continue that and really work as a team and help children plan their experiences and learn and work with the teachers planning. The experience that I was trying to document um, was basically our investigation. We started an investigation on frogs, um, which included a lot of elements, um, including their habitat, and specifically our bulletin board, the, docu I'm sorry, the documentation panel um, was about our visit to a pond and taking in all the things we've been learning and applying it and really seeing what the children understood about what we were learning. As I became more comfortable in the classroom, I was able to participate a lot more and I tried very hard to bring a lot of my experiences into the classroom and bring my ideas into the classroom. I think my experience at the Child and Family Center contributed to my education by giving me a lot of time working with other teachers and working with students one-on-one -on -one or in different settings, so in small groups and whole groups. During the experience, I was able to take over some parts of the classroom that I was more comfortable with, like shared readings. I did a lot of shared readings and planning for centers and other activities. I thought it was very important to include the literacy component because that was a major way we helped the children learn about frogs in our investigation. I read a big book called Life in a Pond and we brainstormed together what kind of animals and what plants live in a pond, which I think impacted what they were paying attention to when we went to the pond. Um, I also tried to document experiences in the classroom, so during our table talk activities and during our center time, we took photos of the children actively investigating frogs. I got to see a lot of the technical side of teaching, which I think will be very valuable.